What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Jacob Lee Taylor here talking to you about everything metal, punk and hardcore but today we are going to be having a little talk about alternative rock. I heard in the news recently that Faith No More have a tabletop RPG in the works. Yeah that was my reaction too to be honest with you. For anybody who doesn't know, Faith No More were formed in 1979 in San Francisco, California and underwent several lineup changes including Chuck Mosley and at one point even Courtney Love until the lineup solidified in 1988. The final 1988 lineup consisted of Jim Martin on guitar, Roddy Bottom on keyboard, Billy Gold on bass, John Hudson on drums and Mike Patton on vocals. Faith No More for me are a band that shouldn't really work on paper considering the musical backgrounds of all the different members of the band. Jim Martin comes from a heavy metal shred background. Roddy Bottom's keyboard playing is sort of 80s synth power pop. Billy Gord by trade is a funk bass player. John Hudson plays strange, rhythmic, almost tribal-esque sort of drums for want of a better word. And Mike Patton, well, Mike Patton's a video all on his own, isn't he? Let's be honest. One thing that I do really like that Faith No More do is they do this double layered rhythm melody sort of thing between the keyboard and the guitars. So they'll have one section where the guitar's leading the melody and the keyboard's doing the rhythm and then they'll swap over for the keyboard doing the melody and guitar doing the rhythm which I think gives it a really nice layered diverse sort of sound. The band released the album The Real Thing in 1989 to critical acclaim. This is an album that got scored 8.5 out of 10 on all music and that is the album that the tabletop RPG is going to be based on. This game is being made by professional RPG maker Jason Ward, who set up a Kickstarter asking for $5,000 to get this project off the ground and ended up with $17,000. The game has the full backing of the band and is going to be based on the elements and themes brought forth in the album The Real Thing, but it's also going to contain lyrics, nods and easter eggs to five other Faith No More albums to keep all fans happy. Jason and the band plan to release five other almost DLC, if you will, content additional rule books that deal with five other Faith No More albums, including Angel Dust, King for a Day, Full for a Lifetime, Album of the Year, and Sol Invictus. Now this game is 100% legit, I didn't think it was at first, the Kickstarter's there, it's totally off the ground, it really is happening, and it should be ready in around 30 days if anybody's interested. Final thoughts for me, I'm not sure really, it's uh, it's certainly something interesting, even though it's something that has been explored before, as I said, with Varg Vickerness from Burzum. I'm not sure it's something that I'd spend my money on, despite being a fan of Faith No More's music, but if I were around somewhere and a game were going, sure. I'd have a go for a few rounds, why not? Not really much else to be said here, ladies and gentlemen, otherwise it'd just turn into a video about me talking about Faith No More, and this is particularly Focusing on, I'm not being funny, but the strangeness of Faith No More producing a tabletop RPG. With all that being said, we're going to wrap things up here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and listen to Heavy Metal.